after you subscribe, do not forget to hit that notification button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy! What is up guys? How you doing? It's your boy Rick here with Thank You Gaming and today we're going to look into the best OBS settings for recording and streaming using an AMD processor. Uh, if you're like me and you got a new PC or a new laptop for streaming and it has an AMD processor, you're in the best place, in the right place, and you clicked on the right video for this. So we're going to go right into it. I do apologize for this infinite windows of windows and um, it's crazy. This is the only way I can um, record the OBS settings. But you know what? Let's put the settings on top and now we're good. So, um, again, this is for the AMD processor. If you have another processor, NVIDIA or another, uh, this is not the video. Just because uh, these settings are specific for the AMD. Um, I know there's a lot of settings out there. Uh, the best OBS settings. Uh, so you can, you know, try to find the one that, you know, fits your, uh, processor, your computer, um, just in case I don't want you guys to, to just watch the whole video and realize this is not it. But if you're still here, that means that you do have an AMD processor and we're going to get right into it. So the general settings, really, there's nothing much here that you can change. You can change the theme, uh, to, you know, to whatever you want that, you know, you like, but the, um, but not much going on here for stream of course if you uh, stream on Twitch or on YouTube or in any other maybe Facebook uh, make sure you put the services right here is gonna prompt you to the login for that specific services and you're gonna go ahead and, and log in like we did with Twitch and now before we get into output um, I don't do much in audio I don't play with that because I really don't know much about it hotkeys I don't like in advance that's strictly up to you there's not much changes that I made there but video before we get into anything the video most of you guys are gonna be 1920 to 1080 and if you're not affiliated by twitch my best suggestion for you is to do 720 that's what I did that's what you know the research that I made um, and you know the videos that I looked at in the settings it you know those are the ones that were recommended and if you go to our Twitch channel, uh, Thank You Gaming 99, you can go ahead and see our last two uh, streams, and it came out uh, it came out pretty good. Um, and if you have a good a good um, you know a good phone or a good computer that you can that you can see 720, it, it looks it looks clean. Um, so that's the resolutions for the base and the output. The filter Langsos, um make sure you use that one and again <clears throat> for the best you know so you don't put too much stress on your computer um, and your CPU uh, usage right now if you see we're at you know 2.7 um, do 30 if your computer is really really high-end uh, you use 60 I am able to do 60 but I really want my stream uh, to run smoothly and I want my recordings to run smoothly as well so uh, I just prefer to do 30 maybe in the future who knows but right now everything is working so we're gonna go ahead and do that so then go to the output um, tab right there and in the output mode make sure you hit advance uh, there's I can't make changes because I'm currently recording for you guys but make sure you do advance because you're gonna get you know the best settings possible uh, you know right to what you need instead of like the the general um, setting so for streaming uh, audio track I don't click anything there like I told you I don't I don't mess with the audio and then encoder make sure since it's just AMD you choose your AMD one so it's gonna be the H264 encoder it's an AMD um, and you know that's the reason why we're here so make sure you use that one if your computer has it put it on uh, the rescale output since our video is gonna output on 720 don't change it because we don't you know you don't have to put it here again once since you have it in video you're good to go so the preset is very simple that's why I love AMD and what they're doing um, because the preset right here is twitch streaming and that's all you need to do and then on the target beat rate I put uh, 4500 uh, you can go all the way up to 6000 but don't go more than that, I found that 4500 works perfect for me. 
Um, you can work around with the numbers, but I say, you know, start at 4,500. Um, if it's, if, if it start giving you problem, lower it. If you think you can do more than, you know, uh, put it higher, but no more than 6,000. And that's for streaming. Now for recording, uh, here's the thing for recording. So <clears throat> you keep it as standard and then your recording path, make sure whatever, wherever you want the video to upload after you're done recording. So I, I, if I was you, I'll, I'll put somewhere that uh, easy to find and it's, you'll be able to access it when you're, when you're going into editing and stuff. So for example, this video, you guys saw an intro and you guys are about to see an outro and that's because I did it on my phone and the reason I can open it on my phone is because I have it linked to my Dropbox so I can go into my Dropbox on my phone uh, find this video and I'm good to go now <clears throat> mp4 is the best um, f recording format uh, It's the you know the universally known format so you'll you'll be able to use it and edit it and upload it in wherever you want to wherever you want to put it, whatever edit, editing software you're going to use. Um, the encoder is going to give you two options for AMD. It's going to give you H.264 and H.265. Now, I recommend to do H.264, and this is why. It's the same as the streaming, but the, but the H.265, it didn't help me because when I went to my phone to save the video into my, my phone, it didn't let me do it. Um, it was saying that the format is not recognizable so just to be on the safe side uh, I really don't know the reasons why I'm not gonna sit here and and pretend I do but just to be safe do a 64 rescale output uncheck that nothing on mixer settings don't worry about this this warning and then once again the reason I like AMD is because they have presets you really don't have to go crazy uh, with the settings so it does have a recording one so you have the full settings, recording, uh, indistinguishable recording, never lossless recording, Twitch streaming and YouTube streaming. Um, you know, I, I started with recording and then I moved to high high quality recording and I left it at that because there's not that many settings that you can do there. So uh, keep it at balance and then keyframe interval at two, view mode basic. So pretty much those are the settings that you are gonna be using that I recommend um, using for recording. I mean, for the recording, you can see right now uh, at the bottom right, the CPU usage is very low because we're using the AMD processor. Um, we are 30 frames, those frames haven't gone anywhere. And you're seeing the video right now, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty clear. Um, it's not laggy, you guys can understand what I'm saying. When I go to one place to another, uh, there's no, um, input lag and for the stream if you go to our twitch channel and you see the last two uh, streams that we've done the same thing with those there's no there's no frame frame drops um, the CPU usage is not that highest also and yeah but again if you guys have any other questions let me know in the comment section below I'm also gonna put a link to the laptop that I got from Amazon maybe you guys are looking for a for a budget laptop just for this same reason for streaming um, and this is the best one by far um, you know there's some critics about the screen but it looks great and I love it so again that's my opinion uh, you guys have, have seen my content you know in this video and in the stream so you get you guys know what this uh, machine can do but I'm gonna just gonna leave the description, the link in the description below, and you guys do your own research on that. But hope you guys um, found this video helpful. If you guys enjoyed the video, once again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you guys don't miss any videos. And yeah, this is your boy Vic Straight Eight, and he's out. Deuces. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching our video. Please share it, leave a like, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more important, guys, head over to twitch.tv slash thankyougaming99 and go follow us on our Twitch. Make sure you put that notification on so you make sure when we are live and when we're streaming so you guys can join us and have fun with us. 
Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you so much. Deuces.